Oh, to think of what might have been. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 abandoned Marvel movies and TV projects that we never got to see. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be going over the Marvel movies and shows that were in development, but for whatever reason, never coalesced into a full-fledged film or series. Number 10. The Inhumans Movie What are we? We are Inhumans. The folks behind the Marvel Cinematic Universe are well known for scheduling films years in advance, and fans were hyped to see an Inhumans film on the docket for Phase 3 of the MCU. However, several films, such as Spider-Man Homecoming and other Disney-owned properties, forced Inhumans to be pushed back. Eventually, its plot, which was to focus on the Inhuman royal family, was reworked into a television series. And while its first two episodes were released theatrically, the end result probably discouraged executives from revisiting the Inhumans property anytime soon. The people will never follow you! Number 9. Morbius by Artisan Entertainment What are you up to? Peter Parker. Near the turn of the millennium, Artisan Entertainment acquired the rights to over a dozen Marvel franchises to turn into film or TV projects. One of these was Morbius, the living vampire. A member of Spider-Man's rogues gallery and an occasional anti-hero, Dr. Michael Morbius seems like he would have been an ideal Marvel character to capitalize on the momentum of the Blade films and the vampire craze of the 2000s. But sadly, it was not to be. Thankfully though, a Morbius movie is reportedly currently being developed by Sony. Give it to me at once! Okay, okay! Number 8, She-Hulk with Bridget Nielsen. You're welcome. She-Hulk, that's my name. Good save, Jen. In the early 1990s, Jennifer Walters, the cousin of Bruce Banner, also known as She-Hulk, seemed as if she might be getting her own film, no doubt capitalizing on the cult status of the 1980s Hulk TV series and TV movies. The proposed project would have starred Bridget Nielsen, an actress whose tall stature would have fit the role well. However, despite concept photos being shot with Nielsen in costume, and Larry Cohen reportedly being in talks to direct, an apparent lack of funds meant that She-Hulk ultimately failed to smash her way onto the big screen. I got this. Number 7. X-Men Origins – Magneto Why do none of you understand what I'm trying to do? During the 2000s, there were plans to create a whole host of standalone origin movies focusing on X-Men characters. Though the first and only one to actually hit theaters was X-Men Origins Wolverine, one starring Magneto was in development. However, a number of obstacles, including the 2007-2008 Writers Guild strike, as well as Ian McKellen's age, led to its dissolution. Elements of its planned story did make their way into X-Men First Class though, so while we may never have gotten the Magneto solo movie we were promised, we still thankfully got to see more of his origin. What started as a covert mission? Tomorrow, mankind will know that mutants exist. Number 6. Black Panther with Wesley Snipes I never freeze. Though the 2018 Black Panther film was a smash hit, it wasn't the first time the African superhero has been proposed for an adaptation. Wesley Snipes attempted for several years during the 90s to get the film made. However, despite the actor's success during the period, he had difficulty convincing people to back the project, as well as convince them that it wasn't about the political movement, reportedly getting into disagreements with writers and directors. Ultimately, Snipes' efforts did lead him to another iconic black superhero though, Blade. Ooh, so exciting, isn't it? Number 5. Spider-Man, directed by James Cameron Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! Believe it or not, in the mid-1990s, James Cameron was tapped to direct a Spider-Man adaptation. Several scripts were written, with some versions reportedly featuring heavy profanity and even Spider-Man and Mary Jane Watson having sex on the Brooklyn Bridge. In terms of villains, Electro, Sandman, and Dr. Octopus were all alleged possibilities, with Arnold Schwarzenegger in mind for the last of these. Leonardo DiCaprio has also been rumored to have been in mind for Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. However, legal issues between studios tied things up for years, and the bankruptcy of multiple companies involved ultimately killed the film. That being said, some ideas, such as organic webs, made their way into the Sam Raimi version. Go, go! <laughs> Number 4. Doctor Strange, directed by Guillermo del Toro. It's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? In 2007, Guillermo del Toro pitched himself to Marvel as the director of a Doctor Strange film, with Neil Gaiman as the screenwriter. However, Marvel passed on the idea, and, given that they weren't the powerhouse they are today, we can understand their reticence. Still, we can only dream at how Del Toro and Gaiman's distinctly weird and wonderful styles would have meshed to bring about an even stranger Doctor Strange than the one we got. 
probably with more practical effects than CG, if the director's previous work is anything to go by. This was a mistake. Number three, Ant-Man directed by Edgar Wright. This is murder. It's not, it's ketchup. Edgar Wright, famous for his collaborations with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, was long slated to direct the Marvel comedy heist film, Ant-Man. Wright was attached to the project for almost a decade, though he made several films in the interim. Ultimately, Marvel parted ways with the director because, to paraphrase Edgar Wright himself, he had become a, quote, director for hire on the project. That's a shame, since Wright's frenetic, signature style is fantastic and would have likely lent itself nicely to Ant-Man. Wright, as well as the crew he'd already hired, ended up turning their talents to another comedy heist movie, Baby Driver. You drive around important people. I guess I do. Number two, Donald Glover's Deadpool. Maximum effort. Donald Glover and his brother Steven were working on developing a Deadpool animated series for the network FX. The same animation studio who worked on a Black Panther miniseries was approached to animate the show and some test footage has even been released. Unfortunately, FX decided to pull the plug, apparently disagreeing with the direction that the Glover brothers wanted to take the series. Steven Glover has joked that an episode involving Taylor Swift is what led to the cancellation, while Donald released a mock finale script on Twitter. Unfortunately, if we do get a Deadpool cartoon, we probably won't see either Glover involved. You're absolutely right. Number one, Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Following the success of the Spider-Man trilogy, director Sam Raimi was preparing to work on a fourth movie starring the wall crawler. The script went through a number of revisions, and some actors were in mind for roles, such as John Malkovich as the Vulture and Anne Hathaway as Felicia Hardy. However, Raimi was reportedly dissatisfied with the script, which is rumored to have featured Peter Parker becoming a father, but cheating on his wife and giving up being Spider-Man. And while we can't say we're thrilled by those developments either, if Raimi could have found a story that worked for him, we'd have loved to see him continue Spider-Man's journey. Who are you? I don't know. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.